In this video, I'm going to be sketching x plus 1 squared take away 9 y plus 1 squared equals 1. OK, so first thing to do is recognise that this is a hyperbola uh, because we're going to have the x squared take away y squared, so it's of that form. And imagine if the translation hadn't occurred, OK, and we were look, working with the original graph x squared take away 9 y squared equals 1. OK, now we can rewrite that as x squared take away. Now, I want to write it as y squared over something. And so this would have to be 1 third squared. Because if I divide by 1 third squared, that's dividing by 1 ninth, which is the same as multiplying by 9. So these two things are the same. So I can write the x squared as over 1 squared. So the asymptotes for this graph would be equal to y equals plus or minus b over a times x. So 1 third divided by 1, so 1 third x. So this is the original graph. And then the graph is translated by the vector minus 1, minus 1. And so the asymptotes will also be affected by that. So the equations of the asymptotes would become y plus 1 equals plus or minus uh, 1 third of x plus 1. So this would be y equals plus or minus 1 third. Well, if I, if I write it out, so the two equations, so y equals 1 third x plus a third, take away 1, so take away 2 thirds, or y equals minus a third x, take away a third, take away one, so take away four thirds. So they would be the equations of my transformed asymptotes. So minus one, minus one, OK, that point there is the intersection of the two asymptotes. And they'll have these equations. Right, OK. So that one is going to be that one. And then... This one will be the y equals one third x take away two thirds. So they're my two asymptotes. Okay. So next up, I want to work out where the two kind of vertices of my hyperbola are. So that happens when y is equal to minus one. So I'm going to substitute y equals minus one into my equation. It knocks out that term there. So I get x plus 1 squared equals 1. So that implies that x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 1. So that would be at minus 2 and 0. So there and there, where that is at minus 2, and of course that's at 0. So that means that my curve must, dear, that didn't go very well. Still not very good, but it'll do. Looks like this. And you can see that the curve intersects the x-axis at two points. And so I could work out where they are by putting y is equal to 0 into the original equation. So when y is equal to 0, uh, we're going to get x plus 1 squared take away, so 9 lots of 1 squared, so take away 9 equals 1. So x plus 1 squared is going to be equal to 10. So x plus 1 is going to be equal to plus or minus root 10. 
And so x is going to be equal to uh, minus 1 plus or minus root 10. So this point here will be minus 1 take away root 10. And this point will be minus 1 plus root 10. OK? Uh, so that is how we can sketch x plus 1 squared take away 9 lots of y plus 1 squared equals 1.